Good morning! Today let's see how to use Mobex state management library with React. I'm gonna start with a fresh new React application and PX create React app Mobex React CD Mobex React Now let's install Mobex and Mobex React Yarn add Mobex Mobex React Open the editor Go to SRC and create new file. We will define our store. Notes store.js. Stores in Mobex are simple JavaScript objects. Let's create a store creator function. Export function create notes store. We accept no arguments and inside of this function we return a new object. It will have a field notes which will be an empty array by default. And also we want to add an action to be able to add new nodes. Unlike Redux, where actions are basically events, they are objects that contain the data that we need to perform changes in our state. In Mobex, actions are functions. So let's define an action, add node. It is a function that accepts node text. And what it does, it takes the nodes array and pushes a new node with text, text and id let's generate id using nano id package yarn add nano id now import nano id from nano id and now the node id will be a result of the call to nano id now let's add a function to remove the node remove node this function will accept id and inside of it, we will take the nodes and assign a new value to it, which will be nodes filter node where node ID is not equal to ID. Now, if we want to use this store globally in our application, we need to create a context. Create a new file nodes context.js. Inside of it, import react from react, create the context, const nodes context equals react, create context with default value of now. Now we create our nodes provider. Export const nodes provider equals, it will be a functional component where we will return nodes context provider and let's close the tag we need to accept children and render them inside of the provider we also need to provide the value let's calculate let's get our store const nodes store equals create nodes store and pass it as a value nodes store for convenience let's also create a hook to use our context export const use nodes store equals react use context nodes context and we need to call it inside of a function in order for the created object by the create node store function to be observable we need to wrap it into use local store use local store now go to index.js and wrap your app into nodes provider format it now let's go to app.js remove the app test.js remove the old layout here we want to render a list of existing nodes and a button with an input to create new nodes so let's have an unordered list with the list items that will represent our nodes. Some node. And also let's have um, an input type text and a button to create new nodes. Add node. Let's move the input and the button to a new component. Create new file. New node form.js. Import react from react. Export 
const new node form equals a function and we return a fragment with the input and button. Now let's define a state to hold the input value const node text set node text equals react use state empty string by default value equals node text on change equals a function that calls set node text with event target value now when we click this add node button on click we want to call the create node from our store const nodes store equals use nodes store and now on button click we will call nodes store add node and we will pass node text to it let's make it a callback function and format the document now inside of our app component let's render the new node form below the list of the nodes let's get the reference to our nodes store const nodes store equals use nodes store let's remove the unused imports and now inside of our list let's iterate over nodes store nodes map node and for each node we will return a list item with a node text and the key will be node id let's close the tag format the document now to observe the node store we will use the use observer hook we need to wrap our layout into it return use observer it accepts a function that will return our layout format the document now let's open the browser and try creating a few nodes test add node another node hello mobex now let's allow removing the nodes let's add an on click handler and inside of it we're gonna call node store remove node node id and it needs to be inside of a function let's go back to the browser try adding a few new nodes add node add node add node and now if you click on them they will get removed thank you for watching if you want to pick the topics for the next videos then join my discord server the link is in the description